What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. I am a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and I would love for you to go check out the links in my description below. I've got my own comic coming out. It's called Overmind. It's on Kickstarter right now. That's the first link. And we just hit $15,000 uh, in sales today. So thank you very much to everybody who has contributed to that. You've rocked it. I can't believe we're doing this well. And we can get even bigger. So uh, go click that and we'll have some fun. So uh, periodically I like to do these like omnibus haul videos because I get giant hauls. You know, I, I buy from people on the internet uh, at cheap prices typically. I try to, try to keep the cost down. Uh, and I got a huge haul this week. So I want to go over that right now and uh, show you guys what we got. All right, let's check this out. All right, the first book we got is Simon and Kirby's Horror. So Titan Books put together these elegant hardcovers of uh, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby's uh, work from the 1950s. And this is the horror edition. It's probably the most sought after one. And so I actually picked up a full set of these on Amazon. I get little short stories. Um, the other ones have not come yet. Problem with problem with buying from Amazon is they don't pack things well. So you get you get some problems. And I, you just kind of see the old thing I've got on this right here. Bummer. But I'm excited to get into this. These are just shorts all the way around. I think they're like four to eight pages typically. The Sting of the Scorpio. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, you just get some fun stuff through here. Demon Wind. Yes. I can't wait to read this. These are good. This is good stuff. So there's one science fiction, uh, one crime, and one uh, superhero are the other four that Titan Books did. And then Fantagraphics Press has a romance uh, line, Young Romance is called, uh, where they've done that in two books. And I think that covers most of their 50s work. So pretty cool stuff right there, outside of the Marvel stuff, which of course is in its own omnibuses. All right, moving along. Next up is Moon Knight. This is the 2005 run by Huston Benson and Hurwitz. And uh, this is kind of a dark era for Moon Knight. This is kind of where that uh, that whole, the, look at the cover, look at this on the inside. Beautiful, beautiful art. Um, this is where the whole like he's crazy kind of thing starts. He starts to hear Conchu and uh, starts out with David Finch art, which is fantastic. The art kind of goes downhill from there. So does the story because it gets all wrapped up in like Civil, in civil War. I actually have a comic review channel. I'll put that link in the description below too that you can check out. I do all my comic reviews on there, so I go into depth on this one because I read this this last week also. Neat stuff. All right. Next, <clears throat> I know I said omnibus, but these are some thick graphic novels. Sometimes I get those when there's no omnibus available. This is New Gotham, and this is Greg Rucka's run on Batman right after um, No Man's Land, that event. And so you get some interesting uh, noir style stories. They introduce a lot of the characters that you see in Gotham Central uh, from the Gotham Police Department here. I don't really love the coloring and the art style, but uh, but the stories are really fun. I read all these this weekend too. Did a lot of reading, but very difficult to find. I found these at a comic shop uh, in Sacramento, California, and uh, this one, volume two especially, is really, really difficult to find. If you find it, pick that up immediately. <laughs> Speaking of hard to find, these Civil War hardcovers <clears throat> are getting hard to find. There's like this whole set of Civil War event hardcovers. I never got X-Men and I never got Spider-Man and I got all the others. I don't know why I didn't get X-Men. Spider-Man, uh, most of that stuff is contained within the J. Michael Straczynski omnibus uh, and the Peter David uh, complete collection. But this, uh, I don't I don't know where these are collected. This, uh, this has Wolverine 42 to 48, X-Factor 8 and 9, Deadpool 30 to 32, Civil War X-Men 1 through 4, Blade number 5, and some Civil War files and damage reports. So eventually I'm going to go through and reread Civil War. I think it holds up from what I hear. Malari usually does a good job. We'll see. Another one I'm super excited about. I up, I've started reading this, not very far. June 1962. This is every Marvel comic that came out in June 1962, which is the month that uh, Spider-Man was introduced in Amazing Fantasy 15. So you got a whole smattering of... Um, you know, Millie the Model, Love Romances, you've got Rawhide Kid, you've got Westerns. Uh, actually had the first appearance of Thor this month also. Uh, so pretty neat month. And that gets overlooked, the Thor month, of course, because it's Spider-Man. But uh, great stuff. Marvel's been remastering these. Uh, look at how, just how beautiful they did the colors. Just uh, absolutely fantastic stuff. I loved the uh, June, uh, I think it was July 1961 was the Fantastic Four one. 
Um, some people like don't like that there's a smattering of random titles like this, but this does give you the feel of everything Marvel was doing in that month. And it's really nice to get that kind of diversity of stories. I really like it. You don't get that from comics anymore. It's fun. Some of my favorite omnibuses. Absolutely. Cool. <clears throat> you can kind of see some spoilers here. <laughs> spoilers of the video itself. I got Teen Titans by Jeff Johns. Look at how thick this is. This is huge. Uh, and this is a reprint. It was out of print for a long time and way too expensive to get. I love Jeff Johns. Uh, I have the George Perez Teen Titans stuff, so I always wanted to read this. So I'm excited to check this out. Good stuff. Um, and this has Teen Titans for his four-year run, plus Beast Boy 1 through 4, Robin 146 and 147, and the Teen Titans Legion of Superheroes special. Cool. That's exciting. All right. Then I got this whole batch of Silver Age comics, which you can only see the bottom two right now on my camera. But it was really cool. Um, so this is all the Silver Age stuff for Flash and Green Lantern. This is volume one of the Flash. I've never read any of this stuff before. Uh, but somebody was given a really good deal on these, so I decided to go for it. And there's volume one. Volume two is right here. Huge haul. I, a lot of reading to do. And the Silver Age, look at how much text there is. <laughs> oh, man. Ridiculous look. Looks like fun. So we'll see how it goes. Flash volume three. <clears throat> And Green Lanterns, one and two. This is Hal Jordan, and Barry Allen. Wow. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if it's uh, we'll see if it holds up and is readable. I don't know. I don't know much about this era. Some pretty art for sure. He kind of kind of looks goofy with the domino mask like that. <laughs> That's okay. We'll have fun. Silver Age is very fun, and we're all about fun here on the channel. That's kind of what we do with comics. We want to bring back fun again in comics because it's been missing for a lot of years. So we'll try to do so, and uh, I'll try to restack these so I can make a nice picture of it for the uh, cover. And that's what I'm getting to this week. Thank you guys for tuning into the channel. I appreciate your support, especially on my Kickstarter. Let's see if I can pan out here. Look at that camera work. And uh, we'll get to comics and having fun. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite out of this? I'd be interested to hear from you. Make sure to back Overmind on Kickstarter. And we'll be back soon.